So milkshake and jobs to be done. Did you like that clip? I do. I, like, I could watch that dozens of times and it gets me fired up every time I watch it because there's a great mystery puzzle there. Let's try to solve this puzzle together and without you being experts on fast food or milkshakes, you're going to find what did they actually do. So McDonald's, they're trying to boost up their sales of their milkshakes, right? So they're getting some people together in the room, we call that focus groups, you're probably familiar with that term, and we're asking them, what do you want? And we're offering features. Do you want this or that, this or that? And then they're saying, yes, sure, why don't we? Oh, that's a great idea. And for some reason, we develop what they asked for, but for some other reason, mysteriously enough, they don't buy. Did it ever happen to you? Mm-hmm. So you're an experienced entrepreneur now. So in this case, McDonald's decided they're gonna take a different approach. They'd like to understand what those people jobs to be done are. And so I'd like to ask you, if you watch that clip really, really closely, what were the three jobs to be done that you heard that people said they have with regards to the milkshake? Okay. Job number one. Yes, you're probably right. They're trying to get their boredom out the door while they're driving in a very long commute to work and they're very bored. They're trying to get their life more interesting, right? That's job number one. Job number two is all about getting their stomach filled up up until when? That's right, 10 a.m. So they have a measure of success. And job number three is all about making sure their cup holder is filled with something great. So now that we have those three jobs, let me ask you another question. Which of these jobs is emotional? That's right. When you're getting bored and you're trying to dissolve this boredom, that's an emotional job that you have. You're trying to occupy yourself in this long commute. Great. Remember this as we move forward to the solution side. So McDonald's listened pretty, pretty well this time and they started thinking differently. And they made three improvements to the product and went out with a very innovative campaign. You're going to find out what those improvements were and why and how did they contribute to a 35% rise and boost up in sales in a commodity market? Isn't that surprising? So tell me, what were the three improvements McDonald's made into their milkshake? Can you find out? Take a minute, write your answers, and I'm gonna be back. So we're back for the milkshake. So number one, you probably got onto this one. They made it thicker, yes. Number two, they narrowed the straw even further. Yes, they did. And number three is, well, a lot of people find it hard to get on this one, so don't feel despaired. They put in some M&Ms or Oreo cookies 
into the milkshake and made it really thick. So what happens when you do all those three things to a customer drinking this milkshake? You got it. They get stuck. And if they get stuck, I mean, who would ever want to have their customer get stuck with a milkshake that doesn't work? McDonald's. And the reason they would do it is because they're not thinking now about features. They're thinking about jobs to be done. And if you want to get your customer over 20 minutes occupied and interested, you're going to create other stuff in your product. They measured it and found that they could get to 40 minutes. Isn't that amazing? So double the value against the job. So you may find this creative, but McDonald's even went further with this. And they went out with a billboard campaign. I'd like to ask you, what was the message on that billboard, in your opinion? Could you find out what it was? Take 30 seconds and I'll be back. All right, so we're here to find out what was the campaign message. Here it is. Making the long commute interesting. Isn't that really smart? Connected really well to the job to be done of the customer. Yes, I think it's really, really connected well. So, but here's a twist. Let's sharpen our brains even further. What is that message, really? If you said value proposition, you're right. Every message on a campaign or a tagline or a marketing message should be categorized as a value proposition. Is the value proposition answering a job to be done? Yes or no? That's the way to judge it. But here's another intake. What if we hid that milkshake on that billboard, who could ever claim to this value? Yes, podcasts, cigarettes, a pal, a co-writer. So who are all these elements, people, things? They're competition. And it broadens our idea of competitors, because competitors are of two types. The Burger Kings of this earth, which means yourselves, number two, number three, number four. Your Siemens solution from another company, from your closest competitor that serves with the same products and services, the same jobs to be done you're fighting for. But a banana is a competitor that's more of an alternative or a substitute to your product or service who don't use the same product or service but are really aiming for the same job to be done of your customer. And if they do good enough of a job, mm -mm, you need to pivot. And that's all we have to say about milkshakes for this time.